Miso seem to be one of those brands that can do almost no wrong. Except for last year when they came out with the digital version of the PRX. Every single one of their releases is pretty well received. There was a really great release from last year. It was a dress watch that came out with three different versions and they just called it the 1938 Heritage COSC Certified Dress Watch. They came out with it in a salmon dial, an anthracite dial, and then a small seconds version. I have the salmon and anthracite dials to show you guys. They are both lent into the channel by Saltzman. If you are interested in either of the watches that we are looking at today, definitely check out their website. I'll put a link to their website down in the description below. They are an authorized dealer of Tissot, Tag Heuer, and a number of other brands. So definitely check out their website, lots to browse. And of course they do have these in stock if you are interested. So these are COSC certified dress watches. And I think they are one of the best releases from Tissot. Now, they're not insane releases. They're not an integrated bracelet watch with a Paramatic 80 and a textured dial. They're not some sort of crazy chronograph that's affordable. These are very straightforward dress watches with excellent designs. Very straightforward, very simple designs, but very well executed. Obviously inspired by vintage dress watch from the 1930s. That's why this is called the 1938 Heritage Dress Watch. The dials here are slightly sand textured. You have two layers. There's a railroad minute track. Depending on the version that you're looking at, that salmon dial gets that painted in black. So it's printed on that dial in black. The hands are black and also the indices are black on that salmon version. And then of course on that anthracite version, you're getting that in a gold tone. It's almost like a bronze tone or a vintage style gold tone on the hands indices and of course that minute track. So that minute track is just a railroad track that goes around the dial. Right at the bottom of the dial, it says Swiss made. Right above that in very large letters, it says chronometer. And then of course you have the indices. The indices look like they are not applied, but pressed into the dial. Uh, and again, those are in gold tone on this black dial version or in the salmon dial version, black. Right above the hand stack, right below the 12 o'clock index, you're getting the vintage style Tissot logo, which I absolutely love. I think this looks great on this watch, especially since this is a vintage inspired watch. These come in just around 38.8 millimeters. So just under 39 millimeters. They have an 11 millimeter thickness. I measured just slightly over 11 millimeters. And then you have a 46.4 millimeter lug to lug. This also gets a pretty decent crown, but not very large, 5.4 millimeters. It is signed, of course, with the T. It is signed, of course, with the Tissot logo. You get a display case back, and of course you could see the movement in this watch, which is COSC certified. It gets a gold tone rotor. It's a 2824 that is COSC certified. So it's a little bit nicer than your average 2824, and of course it's more accurate because it is COSC certified. This does get a sapphire crystal. That sapphire crystal is slightly domed. You do get AR coating on it, and it does work pretty well for this watch. This only gets 50 meters of water resistance. You do not get a screwed in crown and the 50 meters, of course, for a dress watch kind of makes sense. There is no loom on this dial, which is a little bit disappointing. However, again, since this is a dress watch, that kind of makes sense. These come in at around $825. That small second version that I mentioned before is a little bit more expensive because it has a little bit of a nicer movement. However, I think the best one, at least for me, is the salmon dial. The contrast between the indices and that salmon look amazing. And of course you have that texture on the dial. That railroad track is slightly lower than the rest of the dial. The salmon gets a gray strap while that anthracite gets a brown strap. Again, another reason why I like the salmon a little bit better. I really like the gray strap on these. It looks great on this watch. The combination of that salmon and that gray color just is phenomenal, especially when you're considering that these are at around $825. 
That is a great price for these watches. And you can see on my wrist, this looks at home. It's around a 39 millimeter watch. The 11 millimeter thickness is on the thicker side for a dress watch. However, it's definitely not a thick watch and it does not wear thick at all. A lot of that thickness or a portion of that thickness is the domed sapphire crystal. These are great buys. And I really do think this is probably one of the best releases from Tissot recently since the PRX and all the other great watches that they've been coming out with. But this sort of went under the radar and it's just a really good looking, very simple, very straightforward watch that has an excellent design. Tell me what you guys think down in the comments below. Do you agree with me? Do you think this was a great release that sort of went under the radar, maybe didn't get as much fanfare as the latest PRX release or maybe some sort of fancy chronograph, but I think these look fantastic. And like I said, if you are interested in these watches, in either of these watches, and I believe that small seconds as well, they have them available on Saltzman's website. I will put a link to Saltzman's down below. And if you're in the area, definitely check out their brick and mortar store. They have tons of watches to choose from, uh, and they're an authorized dealer, of course, Tissot and a few other brands. So definitely check them out if you are in the area. Again, thank you for joining me today. I really appreciate you guys logging on. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell icon, all of that good stuff. It's really helpful for the channel, and I very much appreciate it. Anyway, guys, I'll catch you guys in the next video.